Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, we had a little bit of a snap. We're trying to get everything linked together. I uh, appreciate my friend Jay being here today to help me uh, link up everything and get it going. With by his own family. So as we pray this verse today, you may feel that way. You may feel betrayed. You may be. You may feel surrounded. <clears throat> you may feel like nothing's going the way it's supposed to go. And uh, so we're going to pray these verses in light of what we know from the early parts of Psalm chapter 1. So pray with me. Well, I want to thank you that you're here, David. I want to thank you that you hear us. Lord, you know exactly where we are, you know exactly what's going on, you know exactly the things that are happening in our lives. And you know when we're surrounded. Guys, you know our breaking point. You know our limitations. You know the things that people say that hurt us, uh, and that, that leave scars on both the inside and the outside. So I'm thankful, first of all, when we're surrounded, you know where we are. And David said, I cried aloud, Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. Lord, on the throne, as Jesus is interceding for us, when he calls out our name, you come to attention. Father, you come to attention for your children who go to difficulty and frustrations and things that, that, that cause fear and anxiety in us, Lord. But we know it says you will cast our, our anxiety and our fears upon you, but God as humans says we hold on to those things. So I pray today that you would help us to call on to your name, that you always remember that you are right there no matter how bad it gets around us. David went on to say, I lay down and I slept and I woke again for the Lord to sustain me. Lord, in David's life, although he was slept, he says he was able to lay down and sleep. He was able to lay down and rest and get the peaceful sleep that he desperately, desperately needed. So, Father, thank you for that. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what, what all the things you're involved in our lives that we can get rest and peaceful sleep when it's going on. He also said, I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Well, David said he didn't care if he was surrounded by thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people. As long as he knew you were there with him, that was all that mattered. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the psalm that David wrote. Thank you for the psalm that David experienced. Thank you, Lord, for the emotions that he had, that he went through, because in, in, in the fear, the worry, the concern... He called out to you and he found out that you will always answer. Lord David also said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his feet is see begging for bread. So thank you, Lord. In a day and age, we're bracing ourselves because of the things that are coming against us. 
a day and age when we see incredible things happening, even the White House of the President, we pray for a president's safety, pray for his security, pray God for his health, pray God for his safety, because it doesn't make a lot of sense, all the things that are going on, but Lord, I know that you are at work, that you are leading, you're guiding the people there in the White House to watch out, protect. So have you will today in my life and the lives of those who are listening, and maybe continue to listen to you in spirit and in truth, but allow more and more things happen in our lives and cause us to trust you more. So Lord, that means challenges and difficulties, just like David went through. David would not have been the king or the man of God that he was without all the challenges and the things that he faced in the world. And when he was surrounded, he realized that he was really surrounded by you. So thank you for being my shield with my glory and the lifter of my head. Thank you you hear from the holy hill. You hear from the throne and you come to my attention. You come for my protection. You come, Lord, to guide and to lead. So thank you, Lord, that I can sleep, and I can sleep well, and that I don't have to worry, even if I'm surrounded by 10,000 enemies, you have it all under control. So thank you, Lord, for what you're doing, and for what you're saying, and for taking care of us. And we pray it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. So folks, live it today. Live it today, live it today, live it today, because there's so much more, so much more out there we ever think about. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be starting a series today to the book of First John and uh, basically call it the you know, don't let your life be a lie. I'm thankful that we are able to see, you know, that John said the things that we've seen, the things we've touched, the things we've handled. That's what we've got in the gospel. So uh, go out there and live it today and make a difference, all right? God bless, and we'll see you in the morning.